we're going to do in this video is talk about sound location. What sound location means is just the idea that how do we know where sound come from, where sound comes from? How do we know if it's coming from left, from right, from behind, or from 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 front of us? So how do we know where sound comes from? And our brain has a couple of mechanisms. First of all, we have the left ear being connected to the right side of the brain, and then the right ear will be connected to the left side of the brain, right? And that's good because there's a sm slight delay. So let's say if this takes 0 0.1 seconds to get to this ear, and this takes 0 0.15 seconds, obviously it will take less time, I'm just giving you numbers, random numbers. So this takes a bit longer, a bit longer than from the left, from, for, for it to go from right to left, than from left to right, right? So brain will always get the signals from this brain from this side first and then from this the other side second so it can use that information to try to figure out where the sound is coming from so for example if there's sound coming from here and also eventually coming from there as well it gets this sound first and the other sound second so it can kind of figure out okay it's probably coming from this side that's one way, but that's actually the way you don't need to remember this, so don't worry about this. But it's just one way that our brain can help figure out where sound is coming from. But the thing that we have to talk about is something called the shadow, sound shadow, right? So we need to outline the role of the sound shadow by the head in the location of the sound. So what is a sound shadow and how does it help us locate sound? So for example, if we've got a source, so we've got a sound source, a stereo, for example, and you've got your head facing more or less almost the direction of that sound. What's going to happen is the sound waves will start coming and they will hit your head, right? They'll also be absorbed by that ear. So some of that sound will go into the ear and obviously cause us to have some hearing. But the important part is especially the high frequency sound. So our brain, sorry, our head, our skull, our head, our head absorbs high frequency sounds and high frequency sounds are often the ones we use for communication some of the um, high frequency sounds so our head absorbs these high frequency sounds quite a few of them and that means that the sound will only get into that ear because you can see the rest has been absorbed so it means here there's nothing there's a vacuum there's, there's no sound has come past the skull which means the other ear this ear won't be activated, so it won't be activated. So it's pretty simple, that's basically the idea of the sound shadow. The skull or the head absorbs the sound, which means it doesn't get to the other side. So if you are if your ear is facing a sound source, that means only the ear that's facing the sound source will actually be activated. The other ear won't be, or won't be to the same extent, because much of that sound has been absorbed by the skull or by the head. But another important part is, let's get, I'm just going to give you another example. So let's say the sound source comes from here. So we've got a sound source, it's producing sound, and you can see it coming from there. So it will activate this ear, but at the same time, the rest of the sound is going to be absorbed, which means this ear won't be. This is going to be not activated. And remember why it's not going to be activated? Because that sound shadow. So the sound shadow was just the area that would have been behind the other part of the actual head that absorbed the sound. Because it's all gone off, the part behind it would be the sound shadow. So if it's if you are facing the direction of the source, it's pretty easy for you to know where it comes from. But if you're either behind or in front of it, there's some problems. Because let's say if you are if you are straight in front, so this is meant to be you have a stereo which is right in front of you, and it's coming sound is coming towards your face, right? But the problem is now it's going to come into both sides equally, right? Which means you don't actually know if it's coming from front or back or anything else because it doesn't really matter. If it's from the back, it's going to feel the same way as it comes from the front. You can't, you don't know where the sound exactly is coming from. It could be coming from behind or in front. Um, so what you have to do to be able to figure that out would be to tilt your head, so to move your head. So if, for example, you move this head to have this ear pointing in that direction, you could figure out if the sound is coming from there or from the back. Right? 
but if you're facing straight facing the actual source, both ears will be activated to the same degree, so you can't distinguish between back or in front. It's not the same. So you'll have, you'll have to move your head to be able to figure out if it's coming from the back or the front. Or another, obviously, if you, for example, if you are looking at a stereo and you can see the stereo, your brain kind of uses that signal as well and, and then that message to figure out, okay, the sound's coming from the front because you can see the stereo. But if you can't see, if you close your eyes, if you have a source either in front or back, it's going to sound the same. You have to change the shape of your head, so you have to tilt your head to the side to be able to use a sound shadow, right? So you can use a sound shadow to be able to figure out if it's coming from where it's coming from. But if it's coming from the side, you can tend to find out pretty easily because that sound shadow is being created. But if it's coming from the front or back, you have to tilt your head and use that sound shadow that thing then created when you tilt your head to be able to figure out where it's coming from. But that's basically what this means. You just need to know that the sound shadow is created by um, the head absorbing high frequency sounds. So that means that only the source, the source um, will activate only the ear that it's facing, whereas the ear behind it will be in that sound shadow, which means it won't get activated. So that helps you locate the sounds. That's that's why it's helpful for sound location, and that's why we humans um, often move our head to figure out where things are, where sounds are coming from. But I hope that was useful.